Apple introduced their own 3D graphics framework, named Metal, in 2014 for iOS. Shortly after that, they added it to macOS and in 2018 deprecated OpenGL on their computers, making it clear that moving forward, Metal would be the preferred 3D framework to use on Apple platforms. Today, all Macs are powered by Apple Silicon, for which Metal is heavily optimized. The latest hardware iterations even have dedicated support for ray tracing, and with the coming arrival of Vision OS, the timing couldn't be better to explore this still relatively unknown framework. So be sure to like and subscribe, and let's dive in. First, let's open Xcode. This is Apple's own integrated development environment for developing apps on Mac, iOS, iPadOS, and so on. Instead of creating a new project, we go to the File menu and create a new playground. This feature lets us experiment with code quickly and run it directly in Xcode. The programming language we'll be using is called Swift. Don't worry if you don't know it, it's quite easy to learn and I will be explaining more difficult concepts along the way. We need to import the Playground Support module and Metal Kit. To get the access to the GPU, we create the Metal Device object. The Guard statement is something we'll be using a lot in this example. It's a simple way to handle errors. If the MTL Create System Default Device function fails and returns nil, in other words an empty object, then the else clause runs and the program ends execution with a fatal error. If everything goes well, our device constant is set to the default GPU device on our system. Next, we set up the frame and the metal kit view, providing the device in the constructor. To show the view in the playground, we update its live view property and nothing happens. Our view is there, but it has the default background color, so it's not visible. We set the clear color property of the metal kit view and try again, but that does not help. The thing is, this property is not used until the GPU does the rendering. We haven't set up any rendering commands yet, and that's why we don't see the color. To send the work to the GPU, we need a command queue. There we can push command buffers, each describing some work to be done by the GPU. The actual GPU commands are built by generating various command encoders. We create the encoders by calling these methods on the command buffer objects. Now when we, for example, encode some rendering commands with the render command encoder, they will be added to our command buffer object. Let's create the command queue and a single command buffer, again showing an error if this fails. We also need a rendering destination, called drawable, which we get from the metal kit view. The present call schedules drawing when the GPU render is ready, and the commit call is where we actually schedule the work to the GPU. Now we are getting some color, but that's not the color we chose. To use the clear color we set, we need a render command. First, we create a render path descriptor. This object holds the render path configuration, including the color buffers, depth buffer, and so on. We will get to the details in the future tutorials. For now, we use the default descriptor provided by the metal kit view. Next, the actual render command encoder created with the descriptor. We can add as many drawing commands as we like until end encoding is called. We run the playground and now the blue color is visible. You might ask, why does this work if we haven't added any drawing calls to our render command encoder? The secret is in the render path descriptor. By default, the color buffer provided by the metal kit view specifies clear as the load action. Because of this, the buffer gets cleared before the rendering starts, even when the render encoder does not issue any draw commands. We can set the load action of the color buffer to don't care, and in this case, the buffer is not cleared with our chosen color. The view also sets the color attachment's clear color property to the value we set earlier. If we manually set the attachment's clear color to yellow, for example, then the property is not used at all. And that's how this works. Even though there are no explicit draw commands, the view clears the color attachment with the chosen color thanks to the load action specified in the render pass descriptor. In the next tutorial, we will introduce the rendering pipeline to draw some shapes on the screen, so stay tuned. 
and thanks for watching.